me all set now. All right, so there we go. And I hit a uh, good old stream marker as well. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Happy Monday. I just put all put out all my like Twitter stuff and all that good stuff. Sorry about that, Legend. Uh, I know you you jumped in for a second. I said, what's up? And I kind of pieced out for a little bit there. But we should be good to go. Um, as you can see, I did change up a few things on my uh, profile and stuff. So I'm actually reverting back to my old logo. Still going to see keep the current emotes that I have and things like that. But um, everything else, as far as like aesthetic for my profile and that kind of thing, they might be changing up a little bit, but we should be good. Um, I was going to do world boss stuff, but instead I think I'm gonna actually change it up and go back to creating a new character, uh, which is this guy. I actually pre-created him, um, sent him some money and that was about it. Uh, I didn't really do anything else, didn't change anything, didn't I really, do even the first story mission pretty much just got it started yesterday sucked was that sorry to hear that man oh yeah by the way i hope everyone had a uh, good thanksgiving and, and all that stuff um good weekend as well sorry your day didn't go well but uh right now it is raining very heavily in pa so uh if i do cut out at any point that I'm probably going to chill there and just leave it. Uh, but hopefully, I mean, that happened earlier today. I'd say about two, three hours ago, uh, internet and my power cut in and out for a little bit. But since then, it seems like it's been okay recently. Um, so I'll keep an eye on that. But uh, just in case, figured I uh, say something. Six year old neighbor I like was wrestling fan, but he had a heart attack and passed. Damn. Sorry to hear that man. It's rough. It's always cool when you get when you meet somebody and you become like friends with them, even like though you're not like not the same age group and that kind of stuff, and like you're into the same things. I always find that stuff interesting. Like old people into cars or like even games. I don't know. But sorry to hear that man. Hopefully, uh, everything is good besides that. Everything will be all right. Um, looking through all my characters and stuff here, as you can see, I did get the new uh, armor. This armor right here is actually based off of the Mandalorian uh, TV show on Disney+. Plus. I picked that up. I was really debating on it, but I decided Man, this thing looks too cool, so I had to get it. Um, I did create this character yesterday, and I started leveling them a little bit. So I might jump on them at some point, but this might be like the character that I play in off stream. Um, but we'll see. I, I really like how they turned out so far, like the outfit and everything. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, like the whole red and black. And uh, the, the different type of race that I've actually never done before. Majority of my characters, I believe, are mainly like human. Besides, I think some are cyborgs, things like that. Uh, yeah, like this guy is at, uh, I forget what it's called, and Nereti or something like that, I think. Uh, same thing with that one. And then you have your Sith. <laughs> my level 54 is Sith. Vanguard. Interesting. But anyways, uh, I think we're going to start fresh and, and jump into it then. Um, we've got my Katsos character. He's peaceful, peaceful, so that's a good thing. He went peaceful, so that's a good thing. Yeah, that's good. At least it's not like anything. I, I know it sucks either way. Like, it's, it's always bad. But at least it wasn't like a horrible like horrible horrible accident i mean it's still horrible and it still sucks but luckily hopefully it was nothing like too, like he wasn't in pain hopefully what 
But I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Um. Oh man, we have so much uh, stuff to do. I'm like trying to, I'm like out of it right now. I'm trying to focus. I feel like it, it's been a long weekend. I was gonna stream like Friday, but then things kind of got moved around and all that. So I didn't. And then I was going to stream like Saturday or Sunday, but then I was away. And then, yeah, it's just like, now I'm trying to get back into it and I'm like all over the place. The last two days like that I did play games, like when I did, I've been just sitting there like watching stuff on my other screen and playing in the center. So, uh, yo, Inhuman, <laughs> Inhuman666, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. His wife said he was just laid back in his chair, drifted all asleep, never woke up. That's, I mean, at, at least there's no pain then. That's good, man. Do we have any? Hold up, before we even do anything. Um, if I remember correctly, when I created this character, literally all I did was create them and I didn't even finish the first cutscene. I just walked out the, the door and uh, that was pretty much it. I remember correctly so I, I probably have a bunch of yeah items and inventory things right here so we'll equip those um let me see what else we got transmission that'll give us okay nice just redeeming all the rewards that we got over the years of playing um I've pretty much been playing this game since 2011 when it released my you know it's funny is actually the stream PC that I currently use um, I originally had that PC technically built so that way I could play this game back in the day because I really really wanted um, to be able to play this game. Also, I just got these last night. They might still be available. I don't know if there's anybody in here that currently plays, but if you do swotor.com slash redeem code or redeem dash code, and you put in Cantina Livestream 2020, you get these four um, uh, mounts. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what all of them are, but you get four of them. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I think they're all the same it's just different coloring schemes yeah that's what it looks like still kind of cool though Corellis uh viceroy right regent uh viscount and sheriff let me see what else we got here might actually change up to a different um mandalorian outfit okay so i <laughs> I literally put all Mandalorian outfits on this character right here. So we have the Cassus Fett armor. We have the charismatic Mandalorian uh, armor. Then we have the Mandalorian Seeker armor. And then finally, we have the infamous, infamous Bounty Hunter armor. Um, I did actually unlock a new one yesterday as well i bought i believe i bought it on the market uh yeah this guy right here the tracker armor Let's see that's the chest piece kind of looks more closely to like a halo character in my opinion what other and uh orion okay so you have these interesting ones i never really thought these were like the coolest thing ever i mean obviously they're pretty expensive this one's mandalore the ultimate mandalore the indomitable armor the preserver clansman this stormbringer one i think is pretty cool but damn this shit's expensive also i didn't know that they brought in jedi or jedi 
uh, armor sets. That's pretty sick. I saw this, but to be honest, I, I kind of feel like it just looks like basic clothing and they named it to die. But nonetheless, I mean, it's still pretty neat that they had something like that in it. Uh, it's going to give me all the tutorials since I'm starting a new character. Havoc Squad, I, I always still wanted to get this thing uh, freelance. Hunter, I actually currently have that. Uh, you can actually get um, Tornado Warning. Oh, that's good. It's not my county, though. We're good. Uh, man, I, I can go through this all day long, just looking at uh, collections and stuff. I That's like one of the worst things. I Every time I log into Sw uh, Star Wars Solar Republic, one of the first things I do is just start going through all my collections, what new gear there is. And like I get I get so lost so quick. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is we're just going to jump into the storyline. Uh, let me make sure that I redeemed everything that I could right now. Technically, I should have like two other um, people. Uh, here's one. I did buy a few companions yesterday as well, um, but I did not uh, redeem them. So I, I put them into my set you right. I whatever it's called the really? Are you sure? legacy um, stronghold thing. So instead, uh, we're just gonna go with Shay Vizla for now, since uh, that's pretty fitting, if you ask me. And uh, let's start this, officially start this new character by chatting with uh, Brayden here. It's actually going to play the original starting cutscene is I, when I created this character, I just hit escape and walked around for a little. So we're starting full on fresh. There it is. Yo, what a throwback. Yeah, what is going on, Crimson Dawn? How you doing? <laughs> you used to play uh, Star Wars The Old Republic? It is one, still one of my all time favorite games. What I would like to do and what I'm going to focus my time towards is gearing ma mainly this character and the other uh, Sith Assassin character that I created as well. Um, but my goal is to get them to 75, however way that uh, almost set up. that is. See if you can't get that security network running and make go. Sure thing, Braden. We'll be, uh, hey Doing man. good, mate. And you, I'm doing Indeed. pretty good. The main attraction kind of like arrived. trying to get back Team, into it right now. This is the man we're pinning all our Not hopes only on. streaming, but the game. Best well, shot I've so ever I'm seen. A little in nerves like, of steel. He's great material, around, all right. But uh, don't mind me. What do you say, Hunter? Ready to meet your team? <laughs> when do I get paid? What I'm ready to do is make a pile of credits. A man from your same mold, Jory. Liska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Let's do things official like. This is Mako, a little genius I picked up years ago in Nar Shada. She provides intel and tech. Good old Mako. Hope you're as good as the old man says. I don't know if I'm gonna be like a nice guy or an he handles bad the guy or whatever. I think I'm gonna kind of play neutral for now. Cute girls and big guns. I'm sold. All right. Enough introductions. Down to business. We're here because the Great Hunt has been called. Little Mako is the most rabid fan of Hunter history this side of Geonosis. And even she doesn't know exactly what the Great Hunt entails. 
I do know the names of every great hunt winner, though. Bloodworthy, the Defenestrator, Jewel and Nightbringer. Every bounty hunter who's won a great hunt went on to massive glory and riches. Which is why we're here. You can keep your glory. I just want to be rich. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Jawa. Here for everything, oh, actually. Here's what I know so far. The Great Hunt has two groups, the Mandalorian Elite and Freelance Bounty Hunters sponsored by influential crime lords. There's no time to make you a Mandalorian. That means you need a sponsor. Nemro the Hut runs this stinking little town. I've got just enough pull with that gangster to get you an introduction. Mako, scan for every bounty in the area. I want the nastiest, most brutal, untouchable yeah, scum you can Logan. find. <laughs> I'm on it, Braden. One nasty character coming up. We need to get you Appreciate situated as a big time hunter, at least as far as the locals know. Then we contact Nemro. Those emotes are sick, by the Nico way. will plant rumors about your off world exploits. But you have to take down someone impressive and local to sell the reputation. All right, just you find a target away. and I'll take it down hard. How's that scan coming, Mako? Found something. Check this out Vex Corellian. Champion quick draw artist wanted for robbing 15 Imperial military pay stations. Perfect. This Vex is either a madman or a glory hound, and he's obviously dangerous. Says here Vex has a safe house in the bad part of town, right in the heart of the madness. That'll be fun. Nemro the Hut's enemy took over part of this town. It's dangerous poking around in there, but it's your best shot. Raid Vex's safe house and look for something that might help us track him down, brighter. but be ready for anything. The Don't hunter tell here? me how to do my job, Braden. Have it your way. That attitude gets a lot of hunters fried their first time out, though. But, uh, good luck. Alright, we'll get started. I, there's one thing I want to mention, though. This is probably the first playthrough I'm ever doing without using my original mouse this game I, i've used this mouse so many times and it still works great but it's also like pretty beat up right now um i have the original star wars the old republic mouse that has like the full 12 buttons on the side and then it also lights up but the cable that i have for this like it's so like torn and everything um and at times it, it cut in and out so I actually stopped using it and right now I'm just using a regular like first person shooter mouse instead um so I I love that thing but I'm also like afraid that it's gonna keep breaking and I don't think that they actually even make the cable for it anymore um so yeah actually I, I completely forget too but a while ago they had um they had a bunch of uh, stuff going up on eBay. So I actually, uh, it, this was probably like, I'd say four or five months ago. Um, I found the collector's edition. The collector's edition, which usually at times, like especially for the Darth Malgus statue, it sells for like 100 or so, like 150. Um, I found it on eBay for actually $17. It was up for bid and nobody else bid on it so i ended up getting the collector's edition like everything all the uh cool stuff inside the code was already used but my big thing was i just wanted the statue in itself and uh yeah now i have that sitting behind me behind the, the green screen and everything I, I think it's so cool i'm so glad i got it um I just so happened to be able to find it and then nobody else bid on it. Um, it, I, it only ran for like two or three days to for the, um, the actual, uh, bidding. So I lucked out. I really lucked out. That's like one of the things that I actually would have cared about too, if I would have lost, like I've been on things in the past on ebay but man i love how that turned out i thought it was so cool all right well first contract done <laughs> just like that i'll pick up the uh 
the storyline for the world here as well. Might as well. Do you require medical attention? Sell everything. I'm just saying I want to go on some missions. My blaster aim is pretty good. Anything's better than sitting around with you and our gear. No offense, big guy. Hey, look who's back. How'd it go out there, hotshot? Find anything? A love for bloodshed? I found out I enjoy killing gangsters. A lot. Imache. Churon chika jiliska chanaga. Is that crusty data pad you're holding so tight the only thing you've got? Let me have a look. Chusa yo mata chitoya. Nam kanoya choski nawi. My honor to join you on the green hunt. Uh. Yeah, right Pleasure's back at you. all mine, big guy. will be a nice guy. I'm gonna do whatever uh, is in my best Uncle's interest. Who's in a generous mood today? So neutral. Hey, Brady. I'll make some dark side choices. Palace. I'll make some light side. But overall, whatever works out Laid for the groundwork, me, but we're not there that's yet. That's what I'm gonna what do. Got? A data pad from Vex's safe house. Crack the encryption in record time. Check out that last entry. Our boy Vex keeps detailed records. There's a receipt here for a shuttle ticket he bought today. We'll have to move fast. Only the boldest make it into the Great Hunt. And Vex is a bold target. He's a champion gunslinger. Completely ruthless. What do you say, Hunter? You ready to take down Vex all by yourself? If I take down Vex alone, I'm keeping the reward. Nice try. No one works for free here. It's an even split among the group. If you head out now, you'll catch Vex at the shuttle port before he escapes. Bring back Vex's ID tags as proof that you're the one who got him. Anything else he carries is... Alright. Get it done. The one thing... So, while I created a uh, another character, um, I was running a lot uh, without the... You get... XP bonuses while playing. Um, I believe supplies, that's subscriber for? reward. But hey, every once in a while, I'll right? get them, and I you always forget to, to equip shop. them. So I'm gonna make sure whenever I do get the first one this time around that I equip it like, right away. For a job. No, and stay focused you on the task. My partner Zinni and I train and supply bounty hunters. Got a little area to test out new gear. The whole bit. You want to really impress Braden? Go let Zinni show you what she knows. Is that Nolan North? Sounds like him. Right, so what's this? Uh, rapidly vents 50 heat over three seconds. Okay. The uh, the last bounty hunter that I created, um, I believe my original one was a power tech. Uh, Bounty Hunter, but I actually moved them over to the Satil Shan server. Um, I do play on uh, Starforge. That's where pretty much all, I believe, 12 or 13 of my characters are. Um, so primarily that's where I'm at. Uh, and then I have two characters on... Uh, I never miss my mark. You won't either, if you listen. It's a Teal but to be Good honest, I, I really don't want to redo the Legacy class uh, and all the upgrades for that. So, Use my for the tricks, most part, look at the big I'm sticking with Starforge for, the, for life. I really hope that someday we see like a Star Wars The Old Republic 2 or something. Um, but who knows what we'll, what we'll get. I also hope that we get Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, remaster or remake. Actually, remake, not remaster. Well, actually, I'd be okay with remaster as well. If it was just, like, HD textures, and it was just they updated the graphics and kept everything the same, I'd be alright with that. 
1440p native support, like 4K native support, all that. Oh, that would be beautiful. I'd actually be able to play the game then. Someone clean up this mess. Alright, so we need to get to Vex. What's so, up? Over here in the back. Still getting all the notifications for the uh, tutorials and things like that. But uh, we're going to try to run through this as, as quick as I can, but also efficient. Uh, we'll see where it ends up going for like the actual playthrough and everything. I do. I, I was really enjoying the character that I made. Uh, last night, the uh, Traguda, I, I forget what, I always forget the classes, uh, or the race, Agruda. Um, I was really enjoying that huh? Sith assassin that I created. What's this? A lawman of sorts? Never thought I'd see the day dashing Vex would get cornered by a brooder. Yo, horses. Kiwi, thank you for the uh, follow there. How you doing? I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Had you this break coming. Imperial law, you pay the price. Ah, <laughs> but I know something you don't. Oh. Vex is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill yeah. thug. Oh no, Vex is the galaxy's greatest quick draw artist. Vex can shoot your ears Talking off so fast person. you won't even hear yourself scream. Hey, hey. Show me. How you doing? Oh. Boom. Cheater. I love how it actually takes some health out of him as well. Boom. Just like that, taken down. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Can we actually... No, we cannot. Can't fast travel from right here, but if we leave the area, then we should be able to. Oh, do that. The best that you can get. And boom. Now we can go back over here. Are you kidding me? The entire time I've had this character, I never logged out while in the cantina. I've had this character for so long and I've never done it. Are you, you kidding me? The boss asked for? I think technically in this area, wait, where's the actual rest of the area, cantina, part, portion? Right here? No? Is it even in here? I think it might be in the back corner. Just don't let the boss hear you dodging work because of a few gangsters. Nope, maybe not. It says it's a can. Wait, I thought this was a cantina. Maybe you can't get any rested XP back here? Huh. Okay. Whatever. Hey, old timers, I'm Jory. Brayden. <gasps> no. What happened? Is the old man. Somebody's gonna pay for this. No. The old man's really dead. But but he Oh god damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, you had something to do with this. What? Well, with that, are you what, crazy? Yeah, Why right. would I kill them? I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. It's just. I've been with Brayden for years. 
I, I know you didn't have any reason to hurt him. And I just can't believe he's gone. One sec, I'm just turning up my mixer a little bit. Try adding a little bit of bass to the audio. There must be some way to find out what happened. You're right, there is. Jory and I set up surveillance gear all over this room. Whatever happened here should have been recorded. Fire up that monitor. Let's figure out who did this. All right, that should work. Oh, blasted! Someone's tampered with the recording. I, I have that song stuck in my head. Though. Here we go. Move it, you're dead. Now, if you know it's good for you, you're gonna back out nice and slow. Thing oh, I love about this I know game. Precisely what's good for me. It's extremely Winning easy to capture. Heart won't merely be good. It will be splendid. When I win, the entire galaxy will know the name Taro Blood. And I'll charge extravagant fees for my services. Won't I, Seddon? The highest in the galaxy. Only the filthy rich will be able to afford you. Taro Blood. I've heard of you. Nearly got crippled by the other Mandalorians at the Great Hunt ten years back. Ah, yes, that. An unfortunate bit of history. This time, I plan to win. Of course, that will be simpler if my competition doesn't include rivals beyond my fellow Mandalorians. The Twi'lek Vibroblade Master from Ord Mantell? Gone. The Chiss Droid Builder fond of explosives? Gone. That just leaves your protege to remove. Kunta Chuta. You misunderstand. The rules forbid killing competitors before the allotted hour. Thus, the promising up-and-comers I mentioned are very much alive. I simply eliminated them as threats. And how does one slow a charging Gundark, Seddon? Blast his legs out from under him. Destroy the upstart so-called crew. I'll be outside, innocently unaware. Sorry, shoot the kill. Oh shit. Too late, old man. That scum. He didn't even have the guts to kill them himself. He had his lackeys do it. Coward. The big mouth running the show claimed he was tarot blood. He's a big shot even for a Mandalorian. When he started out, Tarot Blood was major news. Rumor says everyone united against him when he tried the Great Hunt. Unbelievable. He seems like such a likable fellow. Apparently, he crossed his fellow Mandalorians. No one knows exactly how or why, but everyone sure knows the results. Tarot Blood barely survived elimination from the Great Hunt last time. He was out on his back for years. Major squash, you know? If Blood's determined to win the Great Hunt, our best bet of catching up to him is getting you in that competition. That makes seems sense. Simple enough. The thing is, Braden spent all our credits getting us here. We're stuck on this stupid planet. Nemro the Hut is the only boss with enough clout to sponsor you for the Great Hunt. We need him more than ever. If nobody knows Braden is is dead, I should be able to get you a meeting with Nemro. This will take every favor I can call in and. I'll need the tags from your bounty. Should be enough for two burials. Uh... I didn't know him well, but I'd still like to pay my respects. No time. You've got to get to Nemro fast. Brayden would understand and Jory would insist. I did everything I could to build your reputation, but now you'll have to make an even bigger impression. Nemro's enemies are all over town. Take out some leaders before you visit the palace, and you'll score points with the HUD. Nice. All right. There it is. Starting to get all the gear as well, which is nice. No, I probably don't need all this money on this character. So whenever we hit a uh, an area to drop off some into the legacy bank, I'll probably do that. Is still following me. Uh, so we need to uh, kill some. 
We need to kill some uh, captains, I believe. There's a captain. I remember back in the day when you had to, to actually go through every single like planet storyline and the uh, the basic story and then some side missions as well to keep up to date with the uh, the missions and when it wasn't scaling as well. I love how there's planet scaling there's uh more xp nowadays like everything just i i always find that kind of stuff more user friendly um for everyone because in reality not everyone wants to spend every single second playing one game a lot of people do of course or play one mmo but doing side missions requiring that can be draining at times at least in my opinion. Let's look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There's a lot of mission, a lot of missions I did there, which could have been side missions, but hey, overall it was still worth it. Um, so Let's head over to this side. Alright, so we're speaking with Nemro the Hut. I remember this guy. Have you ever... <laughs> what? That is something else. I was about to read it, but then I was like, what? Yeah, I noticed now... So Twitch has... It shows chat history now. It's it's kind of cool though, because you can see when the last person that said something in chat was. If you have timestamps on. So I, I actually kind of like that. At least for me, it does. I don't know if it does for anybody else. Even when I pulled up my stream today, it was funny because I looked at my chat, like when I refreshed it and everything, and for my chat, uh, it showed the last two people that followed because even though I wasn't online at the time, I still got the notifications that said, blah 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 has followed you blah 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 has followed you like i saw fossabot had went off in chat so you got some mandalorian armor nice yo what's going on uh siva knight how you doing is that uh is that 215 that because of uh of the way. your area business. code or is it just Go random numbers i'm curious <laughs> Cause if it is, I know what 215 is. Mostly true. Nah, just random number codes, dude. Okay, gotcha. 215 is actually Philadelphia, like area code. If you didn't know. <laughs> so I was thinking that you're from Philly. I appreciate it though. <laughs> I'll show you um, my other armor sets once we get out this. Skip the quiz. Just get to the point. Watch how you talk at Nemo. Kudula Musta, Wobradi Tampio, Du Ushi Wompa. Boka, Tetalia Shrekula, Woska Kuabo Head on floor, 
got it. Sayo dumpi no avati kuna. Chibu nigdi doki. Be careful, little bounty hunter. Hut's Bane once blasted into other palace, killed pile of captains, murdered a mighty hut. All right. In front, Hut's Bane. But yeah, so I have pretty much all of the um, uh, the outfit loadouts for this character. Uh, they're pretty much all set as Mandalorian armor. So I have the charismatic one, the uh, seeker armor, and the new one, the infamous bounty hunter armor as well. They're all pretty much loaded out, ready to go. Um, there are other ones that I could have equipped but right now, whatever. Um, there's about one more that I actually unlocked. You know what? I'll throw it into that. That way I have it done. Um, since I do have the last available one, number five. <laughs> I see you using your old logo. Yo, what's going on, Dev? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're back. We are back to it. Uh, yeah, I decided to go back to my old simpler logo. Still love the uh, the sub badges, and I still love my emotes and everything. But I figured I wanted to change it up and um, go back to the original logo because I, I feel like it's just simpler overall. They got to be made of Beskar. <laughs> Uh, where is that last? Oh, yeah, I still I always forget that I have the gold scaling armor set Do they even make that anymore? I wonder or like can you even unlock that anymore? Oh, you can buy six for the character. Oh, you know what? It's only a thousand a hundred thousand I'll buy six for this one Boom. And then go to this. Back yo, welcome back, Legend. How's keto? Uh, so I'm officially starting it today with all the leftovers we had from uh, <laughs> uh good old Thanksgiving and stuff. It kind of broke me the last few days. <laughs> not gonna lie, but officially to the, as of today, we're starting it. Um. <laughs> was in the wrong stream no worries man <laughs> but I uh, yeah there we go all right now we've got six sets of similar or similar uh Mandalorian type armor but since my character's name is uh cat sus and this is Cassus uh Fett. I'm gonna activate this one. Because I am my my former name for those of you that don't know was Cat's Ass or Cat's Ass, whichever way you pronounced it. So when I created this one, I just pretty much changed the where the A was to a U and it fit perfectly with the Cassus Fett. Uh so that's what we're gonna wear the Cassus Fett armor because uh, you know it's a little bit more fitting drop that right there and now we need to go confront Huntsbane which is over in the corner back there okay Star Wars news, my uh, platoon split into squads and my buddy and I are in the same squad. Nice, dude. I was actually, dead because you've been bringing it up so often, I, be, I was playing some this weekend. Uh, Saturday, I was close to doing a stream, but I didn't end up doing one. But I was really close to doing like a, uh, a Star Wars or like a Battlefield stream. Because uh, I, I just wanted to play like a first person shooter or something like that. But I didn't.
All right. Let's see. State your destination. All vehicles leave on time. Uh, it was okay. Are you enjoying Battlefront 2? Yeah, it was okay. Uh, honestly, like I still have like a not like a love hate, but I go back and forth on the game sometimes. Clean up this mess. Are you able to mix the armor, like examples of Revenant Mask and a Man Mandalorian armor and a Jedi hood and robe? Yes. Yeah, you can, um, uh, on my sniper character, which is technically, like, my main, um, I have, like, full-on, like, mixed outfits, custom mixed outfits together that, uh, work pretty well. Like, for, for example, um, if I go to here... This actually works out really well too when you put it all together. So like say if you take the mask of Nihilus, you take that and you take the Eradicator's war suit, you could do something like that. Personally, I think it looks really good with if you take this and just to show you, like if you preview this and then you go into this one, these two, I think they look awesome together. It's so well fitting. In my opinion so like you take that and then let's see if i can preview yeah so right here so you could load this out on like your sith character or something and have him wearing this outfit with this mask and i feel like it it fits uh it fits well there i need to get this game it's awesome it's one of my favorite games in a very very long time it's been around for like 11 years now but still one of my favorites another uh combination that i love doing this distinguished warrior armor set it actually works great when you put on the charismatic mandalorian armor helmet as well because all the colors and everything just works really well together so if you preview all of these there it is like normal but then if you take the helmet for this one and then when you have everything e equipped uh, and then you do the color uniform or whatever it's called then it changes some of the coloring for this and it works out really well it looks kind of like a, a ronin like mandalorian style armor set and then you have the helmet as well it's pretty cool so you can mix and match literally anything you want you can have a armor set from uh, like when you first start your character um, right now this is what my character looks like as well um, that's the, the other really cool thing is like if I hit activate this this is just a pre-save outfit set that I have but it doesn't really do anything you know I can always just go to this one activate that and it's just the, the look of it if I activate this one this is what I'm actually wearing. This is the, the gear that my character is actually wearing. But as you can see, it doesn't look as matching and pleasing as some of these other character sets. So it looks like I'm not wearing a lot, but I'm still wearing all the regular gear right here. And that's, that's similar for like a lot of other MMOs. Um, personally although a lot of people still say that like they don't like mmos and that kind of stuff i think this game can 100 percent be played as just a single player rpg of course it does require online but you can play your entire game without even interacting with anybody else you don't have to talk with other people you don't have to do really anything um involving other people it's just when it comes to end game, that kind of stuff. Uh, operations and things like that. That's where you would need somebody else. But I still think that kind of stuff is a lot of fun too anyways. So why not? But you can't play it single the Emerald entire time. found someone with no morals to destroy my village. Are you proud of yourself? Filthy yeah, murderer. I wish that other ones let you like, create an women outfit and too. Children as well? Out of water. You butcher all the women and children as well? 
No, just Nobody you. else needs to die but you, Hutsbane. There is no reason to kill Hutsbane. The Huts would slaughter us like criminals, when it is they who have taken what is not theirs. Yes. This planet was home for Evokai long before the Huts came. You are a warrior. You must understand why we fight for our birthright. If you got a pitch, hurry up and make it. You see, Hutsbane? Not all outsiders bow before the Huts. You I are know. here for Hutsbane's head. But Nimro does not know one Evokai from another. Dead warriors' heads all look alike to him. You would desecrate our dead and give it to this? To an outsider? Ah, uh, pretty sneaky. I see a flaw. Won't Nimro be suspicious when Hutsbane keeps raiding? What's his backstory? From this day forward, I don't know, I'll tell you our young warrior will aid his people from the shadows. No! There is no honor in making deals and butchering our own dead. I actually Calm have yourself, that outfit. Hutsbane. I always forget about it. I fear it. this outsider will best you if it comes to battle. Today, we must place survival above honor. Outsider, will you take the head of a dead warrior as a substitute? Only if I can hack it off. Hmm, all right. Or no substitutes. Do I take it? One, two, or three. Chat, let me know. One, two, or three. All right. Only if I can do it. Why? Well, that's pretty much yes. Or no, and just kill him and then go back to the hut. I feel like the other outfit suits you because red. Attack. I'd never miss out on fighting no. the infamous Hutsbane. Come and fall under my blades. Warriors, rally to Hutsbane. Rip to them. <laughs> I took the first response. There it is. Hey, yeah, they're not go. very uh, strong right now. <laughs> Anything Did you good? find out more about the Great Hunt or Brayden's killer? That and Literally more. Wrecked. I've been a busy girl. The man who killed Brayden really was Taro Blood, a big shot from Alderaan. After he washed out of the last Great Hunt, Taro spent years building up support with the Mandalorians. The Great Hunt is a Mandalorian tradition. Entry rules are different for their people. Since Taro is a Mandalorian, he competes with them to enter. Now, he's buying off the other Mandalorians so they don't gang up on him again. I'll avenge Brayden, Brayden, Brayden he dies. no matter who I have to go through. That's what I like to hear. For now, concentrate on impressing Nimmer. Yeah, ruthless His bounty sponsorship hunter. is your only chance of getting close to Tarot Blood. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. While I was out taking care of saying goodbye to Brayden and Jory, I caught someone following me. He was dressed like some off-world tribesman, tall. Or a white bone mask, like a death's head. I'll keep an eye out for him. It might be trouble. Gave me the major creeps. Anyway, eyes open. Go show that HUD who's the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. Hey. Let's do it. So, I said this kind of from the beginning as well. Um, whatever is in my best interest, that's what I'm going to do. I, if it is take a bribe, then depending on it, on who it is or whatever, I might be able to do so. If it is by force, then I'll do it. Really, depending on the situation will depend on how I uh, respond to it. You're not responsible but whatever for is in my best interest overall, that's most likely going to be the route that I take. Pretty funny that there's such a legacy slash plot that came from Boa Fett, true. <laughs> Well, like I said, this was the way the line wasn't made until the Mandalorian. Yeah, I guess we'll see what uh what happens. Was it? Is it? It is. It actually where it comes from. This is the way. 
I feel like they probably said it at one point, but maybe I'm just completely wrong. I think I have a uh, chat turned off. Yeah, I did. Chat tends to be uh, general chat tends to be a little bit weird at times uh, on some of these starting worlds, at least. Which reminds me of Destiny a little bit. Well, I will say, well, technically it's been out then around the same time. General chat. <laughs> Yeah, literally, it's a bunch of trolls at times. I was literally, all right, last night I was literally on German Koss leveling my other character, the Sith Assassin, uh, which I modeled off the, the Sith Assassin off of Ahsoka. Um, so it's like a, it, it's a male uh, evil, like Sith person. But I was in general chat and they were literally talking about the for like an hour and a half. And I was like, forget this. And I just closed it in the corner. It was only in the Mandalorian series, huh? That's pretty cool. I'm actually going to close it here as well. Whatever. Why are they talking about you? They weren't talking to me, but they're talking in chat. Huh. I had a blast. Left, killed, returned. You asked for a head. I went and got it. Let's pretend I don't know very well. Yeah, he's a big dude. There are a thousand of people playing this. Go. Why would they know you? Nah, I was just kidding. <laughs> Nobody would know of me. <laughs> Nobody would know of me, right? You want his head, right? Maybe on your floor? Dinga Dwara came at Chuba, me a branch of Muri Ra. Chunky Salamanana Topa. Ikuramo. I suppose I can do that. See Judah when you want to pay you for dead savage. Ah, uh, here we go. I said this earlier that when I would get them that I would pop them right away, but here I am once again not using them right away. Alright, so we have a few of these. Speak with Judah. Hey yo Judah. Hey, I think I've got something for you. It's Greedo. <laughs> Can't see the subtitles from here, what are they doing? Uh, I think I've got something for you. Give it a try. Hand it over. I'm in a hurry. Oh, so friendly. Here <laughs> you go. Credits for the head of Husbane. Good work there. Thanks. Ah, very kind. Okay. Ah, so this is the rested zone. So whenever I log out, I need to make sure I log out right there. What is rest zone? Uh, so rest zone is basically just an area like where you, if you idle or log out there, you get like an additional XP bonus. 
So like the longer you're in there, the more uh, XP bonus you get. I, I forget what the percentage is, but it's usually like 25% more. So you it, like instead your bar right now, I have it as yellow. And then once it reaches there, then you level up. But uh, instead, if I had rested XP, it would be like a green bar. And you basically it just fills up faster. But then once that bar fills up all the way, then it goes back to yellow. And now you're at normal rate. So uh actually I think it might be I keep forgetting I could have used the speeder over there. For missed departures. Yeah, whenever whenever I log out or something or if I take a break, I'll probably end up going to uh one of the those areas i'm out of water right now uh so whenever i get the chance probably after we finish this mission and hand it in i uh, i ne need to go grab some water and run to the bathroom and stuff any word from the wife yeah did you hear it was taking over the rest one sec she used the last of my money to hop a shuttle off the world cold hate Nemro's bound to take the factories back any day now. We'll be working again before you know it. Forget about her. Keep dreaming, buddy. Keep dreaming. Okay. All right, had to text the uh, the GF. Please use all products only as intended. Please use all products so only as intended. Be well. Let me clear up my inventory here. Ah. I always do that. Oh boy. You get backstabbed by the huts. I have so much delay. You should rest there. Can you PvP? You can PvP. Um this well, I don't think we have unlocked it yet. But this right here is flashpoint, so those are like your four man dungeons. Uh PvP is right here, so like you can do war zones. There are also uh there's ranked arenas, there are star star uh fighter battles that type of thing um and then there's also other pvp challenges like guilds versus guilds and planet like so let me see who owns this planet right now i think it still works like that if i remember correctly so right now uh, uh hoth is controlled by the san sanctuary um iocath is controlled by the mandalorians and uh Ilum is controlled by the Imperial Enclave. And then it actually goes further right here as well. You can see the remaining um, War Effort Conquest events provide a new shifting thing, blah, 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 complete objectives. Reset each week. You don't need to be part of the guild to participate in Conquest events, but it's a good idea to join one. If your guild owns a flagship. You may be able to choose to invade a planet, which provides additional benefits. Uh, your, if your guild competes or completes its conquest point uh, target, every guild member who met his or her personal contribution will be granted a guild reward and stuff like that. So you essentially like take over planets, which is pretty neat. Um, I don't know what planet are we on right now? Huda. So Huda currently, I don't know if that's actually a fighting one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it because it would be right here. But here's all like the other type of uh, guilds that own one. It's pretty cool stuff. And this is like your uh, level for the planet that you're on. Are you dark side or light? Um, 
Well, so right now, I your bounty hunter is created on the Imperial side. As far as dark side or light side, I have my character set to dark side. Like, it depends. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep it situation based. So depending on uh, what's going on and what works out best for me will depend. But for the most part, I might m lean more towards the dark side rather than being a nice, a nice guy. Yeah, it depends on the jobs. It depends on who we're playing against, uh, who we're going up against, like that kind of thing. I might uh, make some very mean choices at times, but other times I might make a uh, reasonable choice. There's a way to talk myself out of it and still get paid, maybe I'll take that. But uh, we'll see. Did you guys play Knights of the Old Republic? So I will say, I did not. I have tried many, many times, but I cannot get it to play on my computer. Um, I can play it, but not at the resolution that I comfortably want to play it at. Um, so I, I know what happens for the most part. Like I know the lore, I know that there's different choices and all of that. So like, I'm, I'm pretty up to date with it, but I never got to fully experience it from start to finish. Unfortunately, I've jumped in many times. I've tried starting like the first two, three hours, but playing at that, the, uh, 800 by 400 resolution. It's not something I can do all the way through. I've tried using widescreen uh, fixes and and mods to try to make it like uh, 2560 by 1440. Every time I do, it just it, it extends like it literally takes the game, puts it to the right side of the screen, and then extends it onto my other monitor. I've tried fixing it so many times, I can never get it to run. I was even thinking about doing a, a playthrough, like, sometime soon. But, again, I, I just couldn't get it to work. So, I'm just banking on, at this point, I'm banking on hopefully one day there there's a, uh, a remake or a remaster of it. Um, I think with how many people that have asked for it, too, that it's a possibility, but who knows when we get it. If we ever get it. Yeah, I remember Battlefront. I loved Battlefront back in the day. Clean up this mess. The game, what was the game that you did stream long ago? Was it Knights or Old Republic? Uh, was it the Star Wars one? Are you talking about uh, the new one? Did I fall in, uh, fall in, or is it Fallen Order? I mean, I played uh, Star Wars, Old the Old Republic is what I'm playing right now, but I've also played this a long time ago in the past as well. I'm guessing you tried running it in compatibility mode. Yeah, I've, I've really tried like pretty much everything. Like I could start it right now as well. And uh, it just, it, it, I, it messes up the uh, resolution so bad. No, I, I never have played uh, Jedi Academy. I want to say it was Knights of the, of the Republic. It was before the Fallen Order. Uh, I don't know then. Oh, you mean like four or three years ago? Who knows? Yeah, I have no idea to be honest. Because Knights of the Old Republic is the technically the prequel to this game. But like I said, uh, I never got to fully get it to work, so not too sure. I wonder how many people are actually, hold on, I'm curious.
Yes, yeah, so there are people playing nice. Uh, <laughs> there's somebody playing Soil Tour, but they're they have it set to Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, jeez. Maybe the old Star Wars MMO. Maybe. See, I. This guy is able to play it. He's able to play Star Wars The Old Republic at whatever, like 1080p. But I, I just never got it to work like that. All I remember is you were playing a, a Jedi. It, it might have been this game, honestly. It might have been just like straight up this game and I was playing a different character or something. Streamers help streamers. That uh, he was a Russian streamer or something. I didn't see any English in his chat. <laughs> there are so many guides out there, and I, I followed. I tried following them. I literally spent like two hours this weekend trying to figure it out once again, and it's just it it never works for me. It sucks. I tried doing the patch like all I wanted to do. I don't care about anything else. All I wanted to do is to run at a native resolution, but you can't even if they did like a patch, like an update by themselves and just added in the uh, re native resolution for like 1440p or, or 4k or whatever, like without even doing any graphic updates or anything, then I would I would play it then. But it's just so outdated. It's one of those games where you have to do a million things to try to fix it, to be able to play it. And it's just never worked out for me, unfortunately. Uh, I'll check it out in a second. I would love to do a playthrough though. Like, I don't care how old the game is. If I am able to figure it out, I would love to be able to do it. I think this is the one that one of the ones that I followed. Yeah. Yep. There's even an updated one in his description as well. Um, Cause he says that you have to do, yeah, 10, uh, 10, 24 by 768 interface. And then you do that. Uh, Cause I, I have all those files as well. And then, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like I can show you. <laughs> I'll literally show you. I, I will launch the game and show you what happens uh, in a second year. Oh no. Then Father didn't pay me. He locked me up. Wait. He Oops. Sorry. I didn't mean to oh, no. skip through that. Oh no. 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 I I, I don't want to die. I never meant to betray Nemo, but Father offered me so many credits. And Father didn't pay me. He locked me up. He threatened to kill my wife if I didn't work my accounting magic for him. I was so stupid. Please, please, please spare me. I'll do anything. What can you do for me, Yold? You don't have to kill me. I I'll just go get my wife, leave the planet. I'll, I'll crash Father's accounts before I go. Ruining Father's finances will make Nemro so happy he won't care what happened to me. I'm still not hearing what I get out of this. I, I can only do certain things with Pothra's assets. But there is a small expense account I could transfer to you. Can't do it. I'm already being paid. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh my uh. god. <laughs> Got it. Rip. Where's his wife at? Get wrecked.
character's voice sounds like The Witcher. I can see that. Stage your destination. All vehicles leave on time. Uh, wait, it's knights. Is that ready? Whoops. That's through Steam. I have it through, um, I have it through Steam, but Steam does the same thing. I uh, also, there's a, in order to do the, the widescreen fix, you have to get a cracked, uh, .exe for the game because Steam's version is encrypted. So I downloaded it through, uh, Origin, EA Origin. And then while downloading it through there, I was able to, uh, to launch the game and everything but even then it's still literally like from right here like down the center of the screen this becomes like art it fills up the entire screen but then it also goes over to my other other monitor and it becomes a mess <laughs> hello can i help what is that yold <laughs> brought you a gift this is what happens to people who betray Nemro. Wait, don't leave. I'm glad this is over with. Damn. That's hardcore. Huh. That's pretty messed up. Is this the Rodian? Yeah, the Rodian's following me. Nails. Useless weakling Mako pretends is a bounty hunter. So nice to meet you. Hello yourself. How you doing on this fine day? And I have fetching up to do. You want to tell me where your pal Taro is? Ukai, the Kalia Shrekula Waska Quapo Tanuta. Rundi Kava Kayo Pitopa Pupanda Baka Murishanita. Trita Nino Ni Tanuva Luria Nita Quituta. Fine, you die. I'll kill for free. Say a tubi new Avaticuna Chidu Nido Kitoki. <laughs> Curse those alien languages. Basically, they're saying that they they want to fight me. Suicidal I wonder if there's a way I can uh, increase the subtitles because I do feel like they are pretty small. I'm on fire. Let's see, is there a way that you can increase subtitles? Preferences. Uh, user interface. That, no. They don't give you a lot of options. I mean, well, there's some, but they don't give you too many options when it comes to uh, other things it's either on or off it's not like customize rotor increase x side subtitles You can increase uh, in the interface or editor, open it, find a conversation in the bottom of the menu is located. Oh, really? Conversation? You can increase subtitles in the interface, open the interface editor, find a conversation. <laughs> Yo, TV DNL, thank you for the follow there. How you doing? You know why the download for this game is so large? 
Uh, no, not really, to be honest. Usually, I mean, patching it for the first time, updating it can take a while, but then once it's done, you're pretty much all set. A lot of times, especially if you download it through Steam, it like, it downloads really fast because you're just, it's one of those games where you download the launcher and then you download the game. So, um, that's usually what takes the longest. But then once it's done, like even when they do updates and only, it's quick, at least for me it is. Uh, let me see, where is the, you can increase subtitle and the interface, open it, find a conversation one in the drop down menus, main HUD, ah, oh shit, I did not know that you could do this, what, wild. Wait, scale is all the way up. Global scale increases everything, though. Oh, boy. Yo, what's going on, Star Wars bad puns? Which Amada was a bounty hunter? Amada Lorian. <laughs> nice, nice. Wait, locate and find the subtitles box? Where? Where? Oh, wait, subtitles box. Conversation reactions. Oh, maybe that's it right there. All right, now I'm nervous because I kind of changed up a bunch of stuff. So let me check this. If we go to conversation, oh, conversation subtitles right there. I don't think you can make it any larger though. Is it up all the way? Really? What did Yoda do on a Monday? Nothing. He just left, let the day go by. <laughs> Doesn't increase a lot, but it helps. Damn. I could increase the whole entire HUD. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Huh. Uh, you know what? You know what? Even better. Ah, there we go. That's perfect. Exactly what I needed. Just like that. 4.0. Boom. I don't even need to see the game. What a mess. Uh, so yeah, it seems like I can't increase it without increasing. The, the only way I can get it to work is if I go through and increase everything else and then go back and decrease it. Oh, uh, Dagobah was the name. Uh, yeah, planet, but I almost went over my head. What did Luke do at 5 a.m. on Endor? You walk up in a tree. You woke up in a tree. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hey, it's a funny guy. Oh. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we, we literally can't do anything else, unfortunately without increasing everything, which is annoying. Bandix conversations. Damn. Sorry, dev, man. I tried, I wanted to. I wanted to increase it myself. Yes. 
sponsor me. Put me in the Great Hunt, Nemro. I'm going to chat with him. Got it. It's like extremely yellow outside and it's very weird right now. I see all your messages. Hold on one sec. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Actually, though. Now speak to Judah. Will do, will do. You just get more and more. I can kill accountants all day. Heard you did a number on nasty little nails as well. Here you go. Credits for the accountant. Poor little Yalt, this bossy wife. See you soon, bounty hunter. See you soon, Bounty Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rip y'all. <laughs> Got him. Take the elevator to the beast pit. All right, um, hold on one sec before we do that. First, I'm gonna log out right here. So that way we get some rested XP, but then also I can, uh, run to the bathroom, fill up my drink and all that, and I'm not using the XP bonus that I popped. So, um, yeah, watch, like, Yalt's cousin's son's grandfather's child is going to come after me because they, they're such friends, um, or had a, a really good relationship. But anyways, um, one sec, I'll be right back and then we'll go ahead and continue here. 